Okay, today I'm going to be building a new tortoise enclosure. Actually, I'm just remo removing and replacing one. It, I had one up at our barn, which is down further, and then we built our house. I wanted to move it up here, so it's kind of winter. It's not cold. It's actually like 70 degrees. It's a really hot day. So I'm going to be moving, I'm going to be building, relocating the tortoise enclosure that I had up to my house. So today we're going to be start to build it and well rebuild it and dig the hole i'm going to try to bury it probably six inches i know it's not ideal but then i'm going to stack dirt we have a big dirt pile i'm going to take the dirt and then line it around the inside of it and around the outside of it and put chicken wire on the outside so animals can't dig in and if the tortoises dig under they'll hit the chicken wire before they can get out so we're going to start that and first step is we're going to start digging the area it's gonna be well it's gonna be like two sections so I only had one section up there it was about it was a four foot by four foot square which wasn't big enough but it did for six months but I'm going to be adding on a 81 inch by 40 inch section so it'll be plenty big enough for two Russian tortoises and yeah so you will I'll carry you along the wrong process and see you at the next time. Alright, so kind of weird. I It's been a while since I filmed, but I just filmed a little section before I did more work on this uh, Russian tortoise enclosure and I realized that my camera didn't flip so it was on its side when it happened so the video filmed vertical and I don't want to give you that feed so that's crappy quality so it's already crappy quality because I'm filming on my iPhone but it's, I haven't done much since the last time I filmed, and it's been a really long time since I've showed you what I did, but I did a lot. I dug the trenches, and I put, I buried a piece of wood down in there about, I think, what was it, eight inches? So it's about eight inches deep, and then I, so trenches dug, I put the piece of wood in there, and then I backfilled it, I put all the dirt back in there. I did that, and then I put the sidewalls on, which are right here these things this all the way around and right here this is the side that I that, this was the original tortoise enclosure and then this is an add-on right here so that's that I did that and buried it all and it looks great I'm happy with what it did I cut my opening right there as you can see and that's about it I it was where I live it's really hard to dig it took me a lot longer than I thought it would take, but it's really hard to dig. I had to soak the ground overnight so I could be able to somewhat dig. It's where I live, the dirt is really hard. So it's it's all done now, but I got it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, oh, I'll show you what I did for attaching this. It's not very good, but it's the best I did. I cut this piece of 2x4 right here. And then I screwed it into the back side of this, which is on the other side of this. And I, then I took a piece of wood, and on this panel right here, I screwed it in through here, straight into the end of this piece of wood right here. So it's pretty solid. Obviously, this is made out of pallets, so it it came out better for for being free. It came out really good. I had to re reinforce it right here with a piece of wood. And then right there and right here, I connected it with a piece of wood. Same thing over there, two by four. And then right here, I did a little different. I put it on end and then I screwed it in from this side and this side right here. So that's that. There's grass in here that died from me walking on it. So it will grow back once I put some grass seed in here and start watering it every day. It will come back and then all this dirt I'm going to plant grass seed on. And on the outside, I'm going to put chicken wire and nail chicken wire up against it right here. 
and it's gonna come out over the ground. Now I'm gonna put some more dirt. We have some more dirt more somewhere else and put the dirt on top of it all the way around and then plant grass seed and then it'll look great in about a year when all the grass grows. So, yep. And another thing I didn't mention, I, I believe I'm going to be sticking another hide right there. So that'll be uh, probably another video to come, me putting a hide in this thing. I'll probably make a little video about how to make these little panel things that I have. Because all of these are separate. So right here is a joint. I joined this panel and this panel together with this. It's not very solid, but it's, it's Russian horses. They won't push it over. I mean, it's solid, but not really solid. So I'll be good. And I, like I said, I'll build. I'm, I'll make a video on how to build those panels. And then this, I'll also make it, when I make that video, I'll make how I built this right here. And it's pretty good. So I will see you when I am doing the chicken wire. And I will try to remember to film. So it's that. See you in the next clip. Alright, so it's a new day here. I put the tortoises in here while I'm working on the roof since all the bottom's done. And I have this already built right here for the this side of the cage. I built it a while ago. It's made out of 2x6. I ran a thing down the center and then put chicken wire on it so predators can't come down. And it's a little flimsy, but it's good because I don't really take it off that often. And it's still it's cold here at night, so I will be taking the tortoises inside tonight. And for the, now we're going to talk about the roofing. I have these extra pieces of roofing panels that I got from our chicken coop that we just built. And this extra piece of wall, so I'm going to be using this. And then that will go on top of it, so I have something to screw into. And then right here, I have this little platform thing that I'm also going to be laying across the top and then screwing the roof into it and I'm putting it together I have one more board to put on and then I will be starting to put the roof on and then it should be pretty close to done so that's good okay so now we're, I'm going to be putting the roof down on it. I just Like I said, I have this white roofing from our chicken coop that we had. And then these screws with their regular screws, but they have this wash on here that when you screw it down tight, it expands so it makes it waterproof. So this roof won't be leaking. And since this roofing is going to be two separate panels, I'm not going to... Right here is a panel, and then this is all connected. So I'm not going to be screwing it into this, I'm just going to screw it into this part right here. And then this will come off separately, but it'll still be there for support. So just simple as that, take it and then screw it in. And then we will do that across the whole thing and be done with that.